Happy beautiful day, Psychologies Magazine. It's Pete Cohen in the house. Thank you for joining me. I'm super excited to be here. And of course, I want to start off by saying a massive thank you to Psychologies Magazine, the best magazine in the world for anyone who's interested in improving their psychology. I can't believe it, even to this day, I, I've been featured in that magazine a few times, but if you told me 15, 20 years ago that that was gonna happen, I probably would've said that's not gonna happen, but I still had the idea it was gonna happen, and that's what we're talking about, the magic of thinking big. This is week two. We're gonna do four weeks on this really important subject, and I'm very thankful for Psychologies Magazine giving me the opportunity to present to you from all over the world. In fact, I was talking to Susie Walker, who is the editor of the magazine, and I said to her, I'm so grateful uh, to you because there are people all over the world that watch this, and I wanna reach out to people all over the world. Right now, let's celebrate, before we get stuck in, let's celebrate what countries are being represented right here today. Let us know, and Jerry, who's my father-in-law, who's working the uh, the computer, let us know what countries come up, because I want to know. I know we might have India, Australia, South America. Brazil. Brazil is in the house, Brazil. Happy, beautiful day to Brazil. Let's all say a big hello uh, to Brazil. Where else do we have in the house? Come on, let us know. Wales, Wales, Welsh, Wales is in the house. Happy, beautiful day to Wales. Where else? Do you reckon we might have someone from Australia? New York. New York is in the house. Whoa, New York. What do you got to do, huh? What do you got to do to get a cup of coffee around here, huh? Happy, beautiful day to you guys in New York. Where else? I can't wait to see. Malta. Malta is in the house. The beautiful island of Malta. Thank you so much uh, for being here. I really appreciate it. I want you guys to be actively involved in this, in this process of us working together. Please don't be passive. Come forwards and, and get involved. Any other countries apart from Morocco. Morocco is in the house. I've been to Morocco. What a beautiful, beautiful place Morocco is. Been there a couple of times, actually. Uh, where else do we have? Melbourne. Melbourne, Australia. Australia is in the house. Happy, beautiful day. Thank you so much. I've been there. I've been to Melbourne. Been to the MCG. Um, I love this world. I love human beings. And I think there's so much potential with all of us. Uh, if you want to help Psychologies Magazine, uh, please share this post. Because the more you share, the more people will see it. And what I'm about to talk to you today is so, so, so important. Any other countries? Japan, Japan is in the house. <gasps> Japan is in the house. I went up Mount Fuji uh, last year. It was amazing. I loved uh Japan, what an experience that was. So I'm very fortunate uh, doing what I do that it gives me the opportunity to travel, but not at the moment. But right now we're, we're bringing the whole world together. Let's celebrate life, let's celebrate. This is the magic of thinking big, is realizing the opportunities that exist. Any other countries? Netherlands. The Netherlands. They used to call me Dutch Pete as a little boy. I was made in Holland. My first girlfriend was also Dutch as well, but that's another story. My parents told me I was made there. Too much information. Any other countries? Ghana is in the house. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. I want to go to Ghana. Tell me, what tribe are you from? Uh, Fanti? Ashanti? I would, love, I, would, I would love to know. Anyway, let's get stuck in. That's the screen that you can move. Just bear with me. Ladies and gentlemen, for one second. There we go. Right. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Are you guys ready to get stuck in? Are you ready? Say yes if you're ready. Say yes if you're ready to get stuck in, right? Say yes. Let's be active. Let's be active in this process very quickly. Who is Pete Cohen? I'm a coach. I've spent the last 30 years of my life coaching people mentally, physically, emotionally. I've written 19 books, many of those international best-selling books, published in countries like Japan. I've got a stop smoking book that's published in Japanese. I've got a book published in Arabic, Polish, Dutch. But that's what I have done. I'm more interested in what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is inspire many people to look outside the box 
and look at what's possible. Last week, if you haven't watched last week's broadcast, I would encourage you to do this because what I'm gonna do with all of you is we're gonna take some big subjects, like thinking big, and we're gonna spend four weeks looking at that subject. Then in four weeks time, we'll spend four weeks or three weeks time, we'll, look, we'll spend four weeks looking at another subject like confidence or uh, achievement or success or energy. I want to give you the best information and an environment for you to grow, okay? So at the end of this, I'm gonna ask you to do a few things and I would love you to get involved. Say I if you're up for it, say I. Say I, come on, say I, and everyone read the word. I, 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 because there never has been a more important time for you to go to work on yourself. So let's get stuck in. Are you ready? Of course you're ready, let's go. I used to teach aerobics, right, many years ago, and I'd be doing this. No one else was doing that. People would be doing this. Just imagine if I was doing this, people would go like this, because people often just tend to put the minimum into things, because many people are frightened to step up and really have a go step up and show themselves what they're really capable of doing. Write this word down, possibilities. Just write that word down, if you can spell it. Possibilities. Because the only thing that exists in the universe today is possibilities. And I talked about this last week, about the magic that you and I have. We've been given this miracle of the human brain, and the brain is able to generate ideas. So you could have an idea and you picture the idea and then you bring the idea into reality. And that is where people are challenged. I don't think people are short of coming up with ideas. Like obviously this is a phone, Steve Jobs had an idea, but the idea wasn't enough. He had to do something with the idea. And this is why I'm daring you and challenging you, whether you're in Brazil, whether you're in Australia, whether you're in the Netherlands or Malta or Japan, or Wales, or New York, wherever you are in the world, I'm daring you to come up with an idea and go out and bring that idea into life. Because this is the magic of thinking big. And we looked last week, week one, um, we looked, oops, have to come out of myself. Camera, please. We looked at last week, what's holding people back. And what is holding most people back is noise. Noise. It's a story that we are telling ourselves. Right now, you are probably not listening to me. You can see in the corner behind me over here, there is a chimp. There's a very famous book called The Chimp Paradox. There's a duck. There's a famous book called Shut the Duck Up, which I wrote. We all have this noise going on inside our head. It's our narrative. And the biggest reason we are stuck is because of the story that we are telling ourselves. And you are not alone. Michael Jackson said that. I am here with you. We are all here with each other to wake up to the fact that we are telling ourselves lies. We are telling ourselves a whole load of mumbo jumbo that is stopping us from moving forwards. Because this story it's forcing a part of our brain called the RAC, the reticular, they're not, they're a breakdown company here in the United Kingdom. The reticular, I should be RAS actually, reticular activating system. It's a group of cells that are basically looking for what it is that you're focusing on. And most people are not focusing on th uh, big things, they're majoring in minor things because they're focusing on what's wrong and what's missing and what they haven't got. And then they wonder why they keep getting more of it. It's because a part of you is looking for what you're thinking about. Change your thinking, you change everything. Now, you don't have to believe me. You don't have to believe me. But you could. And you could try doing something differently because what we're looking at here is if we don't do this, we have become a victim of what I call a mediocre life, of thinking the same things every day is estimated. How many thoughts do you think we have every day? It's estimated that we have about 70,000 thoughts in a day. I have no idea how that was ever worked out, but that's a lot of thoughts. And a lot of thoughts, the same old thoughts that lead to the same old life, that lead to a life where one day you look back and go, ooh, I didn't do very much. I regret some of the things and decisions I made. 
Is it not now time for a different narrative? Are you ready for a new narrative? Are you ready for a new normal? Are you? Yes or yes? Because if you are, Psychology's magazine can help you. It can help you. In fact, if you look at the link in this post, you will see a link to uh, something that we give people, everyone. It's called Pathways, where we give you a whole load of free content based on the different path that you want to go down. So whether you want the path of better health or confidence or achieving goals or being inspired, click on that link because th there's so much information and it's all there for you. So, and we talked about this last week about the genius that the, the Romans believed that everyone had a genius. They got this idea from the Greeks. The Greeks called it the daimon, the part of you that basically knows how wonderful and amazing you are. The part of you that is getting you to watch this. The part of you that's getting you to still watch this rather than thinking I've watched enough of this. The part of you that doesn't want to be in the three second society of like, after three seconds, you just get bored and go and look for something else. It's a part of you that wants to be stronger than the part of you that holds you back. Does that make sense? So what I really, really, really want to talk to you about today is one of the biggest challenges I think you're ever going to face. And it's the challenge to think greater than you feel. Uh, there's a very famous uh, doctor, Dr. Joe Dispenza. You might have heard of him. And he talks a lot about this. And he's someone who I know, he's someone I've spent time talking to, and he talks about this a lot. Now, before we kind of wrap this all up, let me give you something to do. I wanna know what is it that you wanna go after. I wanna know, because I'm a coach, and the role of a coach is to take someone from where they are to where they wanna be. So what do you want with your health and your energy and your relationships and your wealth and your work? What do you want? Not what you don't want, what do you want? Just tell us what you want, like the Spice Cells girl said. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want, because let's bring out a strategy in order for you to do that. Now, some of you know this story, but a number of years ago, my wife was given 18 months to live. She was diagnosed with a very aggressive brain tumor. She's alive and well and upstairs uh, right now. But if you've ever been given a prognosis or a diagnosis like that, it's very unlikely that you'll have a compelling vision of something in the future. Your, your life is based on, well, I just don't want to die. And, and you're worried about death as opposed to actually living. And we were involved with some experiments where we put people into what's called an fMRI machine, and we asked them a series of questions. We asked people to think of themselves, and we could see which part of the brain lit up. Then we asked them to think of, of a stranger and we saw a different part of the brain light up. Then we asked them to think of themselves in the future. What part of the brain do you think lit up? The stranger or themselves when they thought of themselves in the future? Over 80% of the people, when they thought of themselves in the future, the same part of the brain lit up for the stranger. Most people don't identify with where they're going. If you don't identify with where you're going, where is the ship that you're in going to go? It's just going to go around in circles. Now, of course, the challenge is to think and dream because you can, but then to recognize this, and this is what I want to finish on, and I, and I encourage you over the next week to become more aware of this. People tend to change when their perspective changes. That's where the magic, and this is a real magic wand. Have you ever had a thought that produced a feeling that you didn't want? Have you? Have you ever had a thought like, I don't know what I'm doing? Have you ever had a thought like, I'm going to be late? Have you ever had a thought like, I'm not good enough? Have you ever had a thought that, I don't think, I'm, I, don't think I can do this. I don't, think I, I don't think I've got the skills. Have you ever thought, they don't like me? If you have a thought, what do thoughts do? Thoughts produce feelings. Where do you have those feelings? You have those feelings in your body. So what I'd like you to do is to think of your, the language of your brain is thoughts. 
the language of your body, which really your body is your unconscious, is feelings. So the gardener is the conscious part of your brain, right? The garden is your body, if you like. So if you have a thought like, I'm not, I can't do this, or I don't feel like it, your body will produce a feeling, your unconscious will produce a feeling, you'll feel it in your body, that feeling will go back to your brain to confirm what it is that you thought. How many people do you think there are in the world right now that don't feel like doing something? And because they don't feel like doing it, what do you think they do? They don't do it. What would learn to ha what would happen in your world if you learnt to think greater than you felt? See, the greatest thing that we can all do is do that. And if an elephant came into your house right now, I'm sure you wouldn't just not feel something. You'd think something like, what is an elephant doing in here? You'd feel a, a feeling of get out and you would act. We have to learn. We have created a world full of comfort. We've created a world where people are led by how they feel. We have to change the world by changing what we think. We have to decide what is important for humanity. And I think what is important for humanity is for us to be examples of possibility. We have to grow. We have to contribute. We have to make this world a better place. And boy, have we got some work to do. But it all starts off with you. So what's your biggest takeaway from what I've said? And, and by the way, when you learn to think greater than you feel, when you learn to think gratitude, when you learn to think compassion and love, they have to be generated. That lights up the frontal lobe of your brain that wants you to go out and create. Depression, worry, doubt, anxiety. It doesn't light up a part of our brain to act, to move forwards. It, it forces us to kind of go with too far within. Now is the time for us to rise up. I'm not saying this is easy, and it also requires work. But I want to know right now, what is your biggest takeaway from what I've just shared here? What is your number one takeaway? Because what I'd like you to do is between now and next week is not only click the link in this post because there is some stuff that you can, you can feed your brain on um, if you want to, if you want to go down a particular pathway to improve your health or your energy or your confidence, whatever it is, or listen to my podcast or look at all of the, the, the content that is on the psychology's uh, site here or go and buy the magazine the magazine is amazing and it's all designed for all of us to move forwards into growth and not back into safety so what's your number one takeaway what i'd like you to do for me is i'd like you to think about how much time between now and next week do you let your feelings run the show how many times do you let your feelings run the show let's let our minds be the master again right? Remember when you learned how to walk, you didn't have a clue what was doing, but you, you didn't give up because your body didn't like it. You kept going because your mind was the master. We need to make our minds the masters again. And then the heart will follow. So I want to thank you for being here. I really do want to thank you. And I know that I'll go back and look at everyone's comments. Any comments, Jerry, that you want to highlight? Anyone asking any questions? I can, I can bring this up on the screen. Um, but like I said, I, I genuinely want to thank you. I'm actually going to broadcast on Friday at uh, 11 o'clock on Psychology's Magazine's Instagram page. So uh, if any of you are interested, you can come and see me on there. Follow Psychology's Magazine on Instagram and help Susie and all of the Psychology's team who are, who are on an epic adventure, just like we all are, to help people. Um, What's anyone, anyone got anything they want to say? I'm just there. There's my broadcast screen. Uh, um, but like I said, thank you very much that the brain lights up in the same place for thinking. Thank you so much, uh, Kelly, Elaine, uh, all of you. Feel free to reach out to me if I can help you. Uh, that's what I do. It's what I love to do. Um, guys, we'll see you next week. Stay tuned. Stay plugged in. Keep feeding your brain. Uh, positivity and thank you psychologies magazine once again for the opportunity i'm going to share this post myself onto my own timeline 
And maybe you can do the same. There you go. Look, I'm going to share it. There you go. Posted. Have a great day, guys. Thank you. Let's learn to think greater than we feel. Pay attention this week to how much you're letting your feelings run the show. Notice that if you act, you can change how you feel just like that. All the best. See you soon.